Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie. Uh, now a question you guys ask a lot is how do I work on the road? How do we afford this lifestyle? So today I thought I'd answer that question. I'll show you my office setup, a bit of the tech I use as well um, in order to work on the road. But basically a bit of background, I work for my father-in-law's IT company. It's uh, based out of Hamilton, New Zealand, which is in the North Island. And our staff work all around the country remotely. And so basically as long as we've got internet access, uh, we can sort of work wherever, um, which has proved pretty good this year. So uh, two things that are pretty important for me for working on the road, internet and power. Um, so let's start with internet, then we'll go to power, and then uh, I'll show you my office setup. Well, if you've been watching our videos for a while, you've probably noticed that uh, down the bottom of our intro screen, we have the Wireless Nation logo. They're a rural broadband provider here in New Zealand, and they've been sponsoring us for a couple of years now on this channel uh, by giving us free internet each month. Uh, which has been pretty generous of them. Um, so this is the router here. It's a 12 volt router, plugs into a cigarette um, style socket. You know, the little uh, 12 volt ones. And it just sits up behind our TV. Um, now, to be honest with you, I was a little skeptical when we left uh, Topo over a year ago now that I was going to have reception um, to be able to work. A lot of my day is spent on the phone in uh, Teams or Zoom type you know, meetings, sharing my screen, presenting stuff. And you need obviously a, a slightly decent connection to do that. Um, doesn't have to be fantastic, but I was a little bit dubious of the coverage down here in the South Island. Um, now in the last year, there have been probably four or five spots I have not had coverage. And I've had to basically take this router and drive in my office, the car, <laughs> down the road and just sit under a cell tower somewhere and do my work. Um, a couple of those were right up the, the top of the South Island in the uh, Marlborough Sounds, like some really remote little, you know, um, kind of went, drove an hour down a gravel road, went down a valley onto a beach and there was no reception there. And I just drove up to the top of the hill to get reception. A um, couple of spots down south as well. But this router has actually had better coverage than my cell phone. So I'm not sure who Wireless Nation used for their ups, upstream provider, but um, it's had better coverage than my phone. Actually, where we are parked right now in Christchurch, uh, I've got internet, but I don't have very good uh, cell phone reception. I've only got 3G, but this is on 4G, so yeah. So we have a 130 gig plan on that. That's been plenty for my work, and um, I've been really surprised. I've, I've done a year's work on the road so far, over a year now, and um, yeah, can't really tell the difference. So yeah, Wireless Nation, pretty awesome. <laughs> um, definitely a good solution. Now the other key thing for me working um, in the back of the car is power. Um, so we in the last year have spent a lot of time off grid or at NZMCA parks. We haven't spent a lot of time at campgrounds and we haven't spent a lot of time plugged into power uh, with the exception being sort of over winter we were on a campsite that had power. So I've been using a Gold Zero uh, Yeti 200X, this guy here. Basically what this is is a lithium battery. Uh, it's an inverter so you can power 12 volt things. You can it's got a couple of um, USB ports on the front and a 240 volt port. Um, so a single plug there, which I power my computer off. Um, I charge this from the solar in our caravan, normally in the afternoons when the uh, sun's nice and high and we're getting lots of solar. Uh, sometimes I charge it overnight. And then in the morning, I take it out into the back of the car, plug all my gear into there. Um, often I'll plug the router in, my computer, uh, any USB stuff I want to charge as well, my phone, my little USB fan and things like that. Um, this thing has been bulletproof. Um, there's not, or at the time I bought this a few years back, there wasn't heaps of options for portable uh, batteries. Um, there seems to be more and more as uh, time goes on, um, you know, more and more popping up in New Zealand. Goal Zero is a pretty uh, well-known brand, I suppose. Um, a little bit more expensive than some of the other brands. Um, but yeah, it's it hasn't skipped the beat it's been great um the only thing i would say is that this little uh so i think it's i can't remember how many amp hours this battery is uh 13 amp hours so 180 watt hours at 14.4 volts here the only thing i would say is this just gets me through the day i use about 80 percent of this battery during the day i charge it in the afternoon i edit in the evenings i use some more of it and then i charge it again um, I should have probably in hindsight bought the 400X or the, I think there's a 500X and sort of, you know, had a couple of days battery up my sleeve. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty handy. There's been a couple of nights where we ran out of battery completely in this caravan and this is a good backup for charging phones and that sort of thing. So don't ask, we ran out of battery. Um, so yeah, 
internet and power are my two key things and having them both portable so if i need to take the car somewhere i can um, yeah that's sort of been the key this just sort of sits down by our bed at night uh, it's got a, a 12 volt same sort of cigarette style plug in the back plug it in and it charges up um, sometimes they charge us while we're driving the car as well so yeah it's worked out really well so now i'm going to show you my office now don't laugh uh, it is just the boot of our car it has worked for over a year now so a lot of people were skeptical <laughs> when i first said i'm going to go on the road um, obviously i can't work here in the caravan because kids and you know my first meeting in the morning is 8 30 then i got another one at nine and to try and either kick the kids outside uh, wouldn't work and there's no room there's no office here i said i suppose i could sit in the bathroom but on the toilet and work but yeah that's why i've been out in the office it's nice and quiet so yeah um the footage you're about to see i filmed a few months back now um i've just not ever got around to editing it so uh, let's jump back a few months and i'll show you my setup in the back of our car all right so welcome to my office aka the back of our vehicle so we have a isuzu mux it's a seven seater and uh, basically all the three kids sit in the middle row of seats and i flip up one of the back seats to use as my office uh, so the first thing i do every morning is i empty the boot because the boot is full of stuff um you know baskets of jackets and sun hats and everything like that um, we've also got a big christmas giveaway on at the moment at the time of recording this so lots of prizes as well so i empty the boot I put it all in the other seats, then I flip the seat up and jump in my office. All right, so getting in is a little awkward, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I have to climb in through the boot because the car seats weren't allowed to flip the seats forward as you would traditionally get in the back of a seven seater. So don't laugh at me. Uh, I've got this down to fine art now though. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the only downside to this is getting in and out uh, if you, I forget something. So I forgot to put my computer stuff in here with me now. So I'm going to hop back out and grab that. One thing I also have to do is jam my shoes in the uh, boot so I can shut the boot because uh, it's a bit cold in the mornings. But I jam my shoes in here so that the boot doesn't fully close. Uh, if it closes, then I get locked in the boot. <laughs> All right, my humble abode. Um, I know what you're thinking, a bit strange, but it does work and it does afford this lifestyle on the road, right? So I'm happy about it. So uh, for work, I use a um, Microsoft Surface, which is a tablet kind of PC. Uh, and what I do, I have the Surface right here. I just pop it up on the seat in front of me right here. Um, and it's got a little easel stand on the back. And that is actually a really good height and distance from my face for working. Um, I grab my box of cables, um, got a little dongle adapter here for my headphones and my wireless stuff, whacked it inside, headphones on for meetings, um, got a whole basket full of stuff here. I uh, basically take my power pack, I put it down here, and what I do for a mouse pad uh, is I actually use this folder that I have, that I keep my computer in and I put a mouse mat on top of it and I sit that on top of the basket uh, that I have all my cables in and my mouse goes on top easy as that now something I took from home before we left was a little stable table these are quite cool actually they're just like a bit of wood that they have a, a bean beans in the back like a bean bag so it kind of molds to your legs so that goes on top of my legs like so just fits <laughs> good excuse to uh, keep in shape keyboard on top computer on got my mouse pad down there plug my computer in to the power pack the internet i often just leave in the caravan but i do sometimes take it with me as well i've also got a little uh usb fan sometimes plug that into the power pack and crank that on and this is the setup as ridiculous as it looks <laughs> and it, it is a bit odd my, my knees just about touch the seat the seat is actually pretty comfy though um if you were any taller wouldn't be but yeah i mean it's fine the winter it was really cold in here i just have a little blanket over my legs and a hot water bottle uh in summer it gets really hot like it's really hot in here right now so i normally crack the boot turn the little fan on get a bit of circulation going on and yeah i'm 11 months in now to working like this on the road and it seems to work fine so just goes to show you can work from anywhere i guess well thank you for watching um i hope that explains a bit more about how i do what i do while i'm on the road We've actually bumped into a load of people this year that have been working out on the road 
and um, it seems to be with the whole way the world is at the moment that you know as long as you've got internet and a good enough connection you can kind of work from anywhere um, the kind of need for big office spaces and meetings and all that sort of thing is kind of disappearing um, you know our company in COVID we all went home well some of us were already at home the rest of the staff went home and they haven't gone back to the office in a couple of years so yeah I mean it is doable um, I've, I've been able to work you know sit in some pretty nice places with the beach out the window or mountains out the window and just do my work um, and you know no one would know I wasn't sitting in an office even when I talk to customers you know they probably just assume I'm sitting in an office building somewhere when I'm sitting in the middle of nowhere on the side of a beach so if you've got any questions um, fire them away down the bottom if you're new here welcome along I should have said welcome up the top um, we've got tons of cool videos on our channel in my opinion they're cool but uh, we're just in the middle of traveling around the very bottom of the South Island Stewart Island um, Invercargill we're exploring uh, we just did the Catlins which was awesome I go shark diving I don't know if you've seen that video yet or maybe you haven't depends when this comes out but tons of cool stuff so subscribe and come along to that and I'll see you in the next video.